Hey, welcome back to Raz Daz and Marcus Plays DuckTales. In the last episode, we cleared through the Amazon, and I just noticed something in the background. Is that the lost lamp right back there at the top right? Huh, that's interesting. Anyway, we're about to go to Transylvania. Pack your bags, boys. We're off to Transylvania, and we're no coming back without the coin of the lost realm. Aw, oh, fuck, Webby's coming along with us? Like, seriously, no one at all loves Le uh, Webby. I think she's just that one character that, like, is, like, probably just there for, like, cutie's sakes, or, like, some poor attempt in order to get the female uh, audience in. Preferably, like, little girls. Legendary Drake Von Vladstone. Heir to the coin of the lost realm. Boy, it's kind of creepy out here, isn't it? Uh, uh, Uncle Scrooge, we're not gonna break into this guy's house, are we? Yeah, of course not, Louis. This castle has been abandoned for centuries. So, yeah. I mean, we are gonna technically rob it, but hey, no one's there, so it's fine. Shut the fuck up, Webby. Ah, uh, don't be silly, Webby. Yeah, there's no such thing as Dracula. Oh, yeah, what a very imaginative name for... <laughs> like, their version of Dracula. It's just Count Dracula Duck. I guess not to be cons uh, con uh, confused with Count Duckula, which is... <laughs> which is very similar to DuckTales. In the in the fact that like a lot of the main characters are pretty much just all poultry. I don't know if there's anything back here that we can get. Oh, there is. Huh, cool. Some extra shit, you know. But yeah, I, I guess they didn't want to be like associated with Count Duckula. I guess that was the original name, and then, like, it must have been, like, it must have been some sort of, like, rewrite in the script. Because I'm pretty sure someone came up with the name Count Duckula, but they probably, like, researched Count Duckula on, like, Google and found out, like, oh, shit, there's already a property known as Count Duckula. Yeah, like I said before, even though that show, like, bears a lot of similarities to DuckTales, <clears throat> Excuse me. It's like far different from it though. One thing, it's not at all Disney related, although it kind of looks like it does. Just because Webby's a big chicken. Yeah! We're not afraid of whatever's hiding out there, are we? You boys are so mean! Shut up! No one cares, Webby. Go and die for all I can. No, not the boys. Huey, Huey. Oh, great. Now we're stuck with her. Will I be all right, Uncle Scrooge? Just. Ugh. I'll, I'll, I'll give her this. Like, she's not as annoying as, like. I'm trying to think, think of another character that's, like, similar to her. Um. Have you guys ever watched, um, Fairly Odd Parents, like, more specifically, like, the later seasons? And, like, they introduced that, um, that baby character, you know, Cosmo and, uh, Cosmo and Wanda's baby? It's not as annoying as that. Where it's there just for the sake of, like, having, like, a cutesy character. And, like, a poor attempt to lengthen the show's runtime or something like that. At least it's not as an annoying as that. Um, oh, we can't do anything with this mirror yet. Yippee! Hey, invisibility, what can we use it for? Um, I swear, whenever I get invincibility, I always end up wasting it somehow or some way. I don't know why, but I, 
I don't know why I was thinking this, but for whatever reason, I thought you could only kill those like duck skeleton uh, duck skeletons if you were invincible. I guess I had Mario on the brain for some reason, and I kind of equated that to dry bones. I don't think you can kill those ghosts. I mean, how would you? Without a proton pack and a trap? How could you? By the way, shout out to the fact that... Shout out to the new Ghostbusters movie, by the way. I'm definitely not going to see it. I mean, it obviously looks like a cash grab, and... Yeah, I'm, I'm definitely not seeing it. Because it looks like it's trying to cash in on like an old franchise just as much as... You know, Real World Cop and like all those different movies that are coming out recently. I'm definitely not going to be buying into that at all. And the fact that they... They decided to make a Ghostbusters movie just as Harold Ramis passes away, like... Two years later. To me, that's like, really disgusting. So, yeah. Definitely not going to see it. God damn, it's dark in here. Oh shit, that... That's gonna startle me for some reason. Where the fuck? Okay, there he is. Well, bam. Okay. Whoa, shit. Oh god, I, I thought I took off the pogo stick thing for some reason. Oh gee, I wonder if that's a real ghost. Definitely, you definitely got me spooked. I thought it was a swan. Just an old bed sheet and flower dust to frighten off Scrooge McDuck. Look, Uncle Scrooge, that beagle boy dropped something. It's an old piece of paper. I could see it's an old piece of paper. You mean like a magic spell? Hi, lad. At least part of one. Gee, I wonder who tore it into pieces. We'll worry about that later. Right now. I want you to head to the front door and wait for me. I'll be back once I've found the treasure. Off you go, lad. Yeah, get the fuck out of here. There's ain't no place for a kid. What the hell is that behind? Is that the fucking pits of hell right there? Whoa, we got a lot of chests over here. Merry Christmas to me, indeed. Look at all this good stuff. Yes! Look at all the monies. Oh, oh shit. I probably needed one of those chests. God damn it, I've been doing that a lot lately. Or, I've been doing that a lot in this Let's Play so far. Okay, so that takes me back here. Oh, that's all it does? Where else do I go then? I almost forgot this area is a bit of a maze. Or at least this level is. Uh, did I go up here yet? No, I did not, because there's a chest here. Hey, there's Louie, or Dewey. Help! 
By the way, isn't that weird? There's real ghosts in this level, but there's also fucking fake ones like those Beagle Boys right there. Why do I have a feeling that they're baiting us? I mean, every time we beat one of them, they always leave behind a piece of a magic room. Speaking of scraps, he dropped this up the Scrooge. Ah, it looks like another piece of that torn up sorcery. Ah, uh, say what? A magic spell. And it's nearly complete. Just one piece left to find. If only I knew where to start looking. Gee, there's like three pieces and you have three lost boys. Do you think he meant? Of course, a secret passage. Oh, no wonder I've been having so much trouble finding anything around here. Good lad. Now, I wouldn't necessarily say that, Scrooge. I mean, even... <laughs> I mean, even if you haven't been looking for this specific treasure but you've been looking for it, look at all the shit you've been finding. Even finding like gems and, and rubies and shit. I wouldn't necessarily call this a lost cause, man. Not at all. Fuck off. Oh my god, I got burp again. Really don't want to though. Alright, I'll, I'll do it. Oh god. Excuse me. That coke made me really gassy. <laughs> Surprisingly enough. I love I love the fact that like you jump on like these mummy things and like that like twist them around and like it takes the wrapping off of them. Yeah, like see look at that. I guess I can go there now. Oh hey, we got a heart piece, which increases our um, our max health. Very appreciated, <laughs> especially since like for the most part I've been like dying a lot so far in this let's play. Oh shit, motherfucker! Yeah, don't be surprised if I keep doing that. And boom. Ah, oh, just cake when I had full health already. I don't want to be going there yet. This part of the spell matches the inscriptions on this mirror. Oh, if only I had all the pieces to this puzzle. Yeah, I'm definitely not supposed to be going there yet. So that's pretty much where the boss is. And we don't have all the pe- Motherfucker! Oh shit, where does that take me now? Oh god, minecart. Minecart time! Whoa, 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 whoa. How am I supposed to ju- Oh, there we go. Well then. Oh, come on! How do you stop this confounded contraption? Is there no end to this? Oops. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Am I going to run into another... Yeah. Hey, what?
This is getting out of hand. Now, there are two of them. Oh, come on. There we go. Not so tough without your army helmet, eh? <laughs> Wait as the gang of Sing Sing finds out you were knocked flat by an old guy in his cane. <laughs> yeah, thank you, lad. Yeah, well, you better be careful where you go. I don't know why Scrooge took that as an insult. Much bigger problems than me. I mean, <laughs> he's pretty athletic for like an old fart. Oh, it doesn't matter. Now, quick lad, see if there's a scrap of paper lying about. Uh, you mean like this one, Uncle Scrooge? Exactly. This is the last piece of the riddle. And what to do? That's what I'm about to find out. Quick lad, go meet Webby and the others at the entrance. And all of you, stay put. All right. Now that we have all three pieces, we can finally go to that mirror. Oh god, not another minecart. Yep. Oh, what the fuck? It doesn't keep my momentum whenever I jump like that. Like, to check this out right here. I have to press forward in order to, like, go forward. When, like, already I should keep my momentum as it is. I just jumped off of a movie cart for crying out loud. And that was close. That was so cheap. Oh, what the f- Oh, no! I didn't get those- No! I wanted the monies! Hey, this is Mrs. Beakley. Mrs. Beakley, is that you? It most certainly is. Why, just look at all these cobwebs. This place could use a woman's touch. Tell me about it. You're worth your weight in gold, Mrs. Beakley. Uh, if you'll pardon the expression. Huh, of course. But I'll find my own way out, thank you very much. Wow. <laughs> She, <laughs> she said that really personal. <laughs> I'll find my own, I'll find my own way out, bitch. Come on. There we go. That's what I wanted to do. I just gotta wait for this. There we are. Bump that. And there we are. Whenever I play this game, I always feel like Scrooge himself. Oh shit. Alright, come on over here. And... Yeah, whenever I play this game, I always feel like Scrooge because I'm always like, looking for like different ways in order to like, get as much money as I can. And if it were only this simple in real life, you know? Like all I had to do was just go out and travel. Come on, come on over here. There we go. Oh, I was just kicking there? I don't want cake. I'm already at full health. I need money. Nope. Alright, come on over here. There we go. Oh, come on. I love I'm wasting this much time just to get a stupid... This stupid chest. There's, there's probably nothing in it though. There's probably just health. 
But you know what, damn it, if there's money up there, I don't care how long it takes, I just... Are you serious that not register? I don't care how long it takes, I want that money. Give me that money. I want that money. There we go, finally. Yep, see? There's a ruby in here. Nice going, numbskull. Oh, what? Oh, is that what you're supposed to do with these night things? I was under the impression that, oh, I don't know, you can do anything with them because they look like decor. Someone should close that window behind me, by the way. Oh, 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 of course, that one just happened to, like, drop the helmet on me. Inconsistent, bro. Aw, oh, you son of a bitch. Yeah, see, why does that one have a chest? Cheap ass. But then again, I'm one to talk. I am playing a Scrooge McDuck after all. The cheapest duck in town. And by the way, what was up with like the, the duck craze of like the 1990s? Because I remember like DuckTales wasn't the only show to be like... No, like DuckTales wasn't the only show it's a feature ducks in it at around that time because I remember as soon as like DuckTales like became a success that's when um, Disney put out like a couple other shows that fuck that's not where I wanted to go okay thank god I can go back because I remember the shows after that were Quack Pack which is like one of those like you know, like, one of those shows, like, from the 90s where it was trying to be all hip and edgy? It was one of those shows. And guess who starred in it? Fucking the nephews and... It was... Should I just drop my Wiimote? Because it was... Yeah, it was the nephews and there was also Donald. And the gimmick behind that show was that... Donald was like an old fart. I mean, he's not as old. He's not as old as Scrooge, but like, oh my God, it's magic to spell. Magic to spell. Fuck, I should have known you'd be behind this. God, I'm surprised I actually remember that name. My old friend, you wouldn't believe how much fun it is watching you run around. But um, so the premise of the show was that like Huey, Dewey, and Louie were like. Those, like, kind of edgy kids, you know, like, the kind of, like, the Thomas Taylor John, uh, Thomas Taylor, fuck, what was his last name? Thomas Taylor, whatever, the fucking kid from, uh, Home Improvement and the voice of young Simba. Like, they had that sort of style of haircut and, like, a bunch of, like, 90s boy band haircuts as well. They gave those same kind of haircuts to Huey, Dewey, and Louie, and they... Made them write skateboards and like saying, "Dude, radical." I'm going to track down that witch and give her a. And it's like, like totally one of those shows where it's like, "Wow, the old generation is like so lame and like we're so anti-authority." It, it, it was like one of those shows, and then the next show to come after that one was um, the Mighty Ducks, not the. Not the hockey movie that came up before that. You you'll it, it's easy to mix those up. But no, the Mighty Ducks. It was a show where there were these superhero ducks um who on the side have a superhero job. And they go in outer space and stuff and like <laughs> it had one of the most lamest theme songs I've ever heard.
Oh, fuck, what was it? Oh, Duck's Rock. I, like, I, like, I remember the like, like same exact words that were in the theme song. At one point, it's like, the song goes, Duck's Rock! And it's like, are you fucking kidding me? Oh shit, I forgot how to fight this boss. Oh shit. Okay, now I I got the hang of it. I I think. Oh yeah, I forgot she transforms herself into like a couple different things, I think. Cause I remember like in the show she disguises herself sometimes. And I remember she was always after um Scrooge's number one dime for some reason. I forgot what the reason was. But I guess it must have had, like, some sort of, like, magical power to it. I have no idea why. Oh, man. Oh, whoa, 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 that's... Ah. I love how I like. Oh shit! Oh my god! <laughs> I love how I just walk up to her and just bounce on her fucking head. Oh, am I done already? Oh, I guess I am. Oh, really? Is that is that your excuse? Oh, yes, yes. See, she's always after like Scrooge's number one dime, which is like the first dime that Scrooge McDuck ever earned. I, I have no idea why, like, I'll have to look up the reason, like, after this episode's done, which is just about done. But, yeah, I, I'm sure there's, like, a reason behind it, and, like, I just probably forgot. Let's see how much money we cashed in. I don't think it's as much as, um... Amazon, I don't think. Yeah, it wasn't as much as Amazon. But, hey, it's still a good amount. No? It's hard to say, lad. Folks like her have a way of popping up at the most inconvenient moments. Dude, don't jinx yourself right there. She could just pop in in your money bin like, like that. Too true, Louie. No, then. We're two next lads. Uh, how about a swim in the money bin before we end off? <laughs> I think that's gonna be a tradition now. Each time we clear a new mission, go for a little swim in the money bin. Hey, there's the coin. Whee! Man, something about this is so satisfying to me. Kind of makes me wish I had my own money bin to swim in. Oh, that reminds me. I, I think it was like when DuckTales Remastered first came out. I think at like a con or something, they actually had a money bin where you could swim in it. And in it were like, um, these plush coins. So like, it wasn't like solid gold like in the show. Because, let's be honest here. If this were solid gold, you would not be able to, like, jump in it like Scrooge does, like... You would not be able to do this shit. You would fucking break your spine. Ah, oh, but man, that makes me wish I went to that con. 
I've never been to a con actually, which is kind of sad, honestly. I've always wanted to go to one. Uh, anyway, that about does it for today. Um, or at, that about does it for this episode, at least. So, in the next episode, we are going to go to the African Mines. So, I'll see you guys then. Peace.